Okay, we're in 3ds Max and we're going to take a look at some of the Arnold materials. So I'm going to go and open up my material editor. And right now I just have a physical material attached to these objects. I'm going to delete that. I do have both my um, active shade as well as my production renderer set up for Arnold. And I have for both the system set up for accept legacy 3ds Max materials. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at some of these other materials. So far we've been using the um, Arnold standard shader. So to get to that we go material, Arnold, surface, and then standard surface. And this is what I've been looking at. So we're going to take a look at a couple different ones. So the first one we're going to look at is we're going to go under Material, Arnold, and then we're going to go into our surface and we'll take a look at just the, we'll do two-sided. With the two-sided, I'm going to apply it to this bowl, or just half sphere, and make the material visible in the viewport. Now some of these materials just will not show up properly in the viewport, which is fine, but just be aware. And then from this, I'm going to right click and then go and make an Arnold standard surface and drop that into the first slot. And I will change the color of this to be a blue. And then for the second material, our back material, I'm going to go in, Arnold, Surface, and I will do the car paint. It just defaults to red. So I'll put that into the back. And now when we do an active shade, you'll see that we have the red on the inside and the blue on the outside. Now this is the back side because this only has one face to it. Um, I cut the sphere in half. So any polygons that you have that are one-sided, you'll be able to see. You should get that, I don't have any light down there. You should get that uh, one side red and one side blue. And so you can see that is the bottom of the plane. It has that red material. So if I pull that light down, you see that the bottom does have that red material. And it's very shiny car paint. Okay, so I'm going to just remove this light. So that's the first one. And again, on the one-sided objects, you're going to you're going to see your material. Okay, so we're back to just our default shaded materials. I'm going to go and take a look at another material. We're going to go to our material Arnold surfaces and we're going to take a look at the Lambert material. Now with the Lambert material I'm going to apply it to the teapot. It doesn't have a lot of settings um, so let me rotate this just slightly. So we have the ability to adjust the percentage of the diffuse color being used and then our opacity. We can also make an adjustment to a normal map that you put in. So let's just take a quick look at this. And with the diffuse, again, I can put a color in. Here's my color. And then I can adjust that color. So if I go over one, we're adding more vibrance or light into the diffuse color. And if I go down point 0.3, 
then we're taking a lot of the of the lightness out of that color. So we'll just put it up to the default 0.7. And here is our color. And then we can adjust our opacity. To adjust our opacity, white is 100%. We can go in and add a gray, and that's going to lower our opacity. So the darker the gray, the more transparent the object becomes. Um, we can also just go in and put a map in. So you can click, oops, you can click right next to the property that you want and place a map. So here we have a dent. And again, I can play around with the, the colors um, to control my opacity. So I bring this one back to white. We're at completely opaque. And then here I can make it more or less transparent. So that's our Lambert. And then the next one we'll take a look at. We'll do the Arnold material matte and we'll take a look at the mix shader. So with the mix shader, we're going to be able to mix two different materials together. So I'm going to go and create another Arnold material. Um, this one I will just do again a car paint real quick. Drop it into the first shader. Put this onto the teapot. And then for the second shader, I'll do another Arnold material. Um, doesn't matter what I'm doing, I'll just do a standard material and just change the base color. And you see by default it's just mixing these two colors together. So right now we have a blend of 50%. So together, the red and the blue are making a purple. And I can adjust the percentages up. Now we're getting more of the blue. We're getting more of the red car paint. So that's with our blend mode. We can do an additive mode. Um, but we can also come in here, and I'll go back to the blend, and we can put in a map. So now we're blending with the car paint and the blue pigment. That's our mix shader. And then we'll do another one. We'll go down to material, Arnold. Well, maps to material, it's going to allow you to put a map on as a material. So with this, let's say I go into a map. I'm going to go into an Arnold map. I'm going to go utility wireframe. And if I want to take this wireframe and apply it to the teapot, it won't allow me to. So now if I go to the map to material and I apply that, it'll allow me to apply the map onto the surface. Now I can simply go through and just do a new material. So I can say Arnold surface standard, apply this, and then put the map into my base color. And this will work as well. But we do have a lot of other properties here that we don't have. This is just going to show the straight map. It's not going to um, process it through you know, a material with gloss. So it's just a cleaner result. But you could do it either way. So that's how you use the map to material. So we'll take a look at another one. And we're going to go back to Arnold. Did our mixer. We'll look at the we'll look at the switch shader. And what the switch shader allows you to do is to put different materials on um, and change between those. So if I click on this, you'll see that we have the index and then we have the numbers for the materials. So let's say we have this applied to the surface. And I come in and I make a material. And again, I'll just drop the car paint on there. I'm going to put it into input 0. 
and now that's the the material. Out of input one, I'm going to come in and do another surface. We'll do a Lambert. And I'm just going to make this sort of a magenta. And then I will do a third. And this is going to be just a standard surface. And for this, we're going to go with a yellow. And now we can just simply change between the materials by changing the index number. So at zero, we're looking at the car paint. At one, we're looking at the Lambert. And then at two, we're looking at the standard surface material. So with this mix shader, again, it allows you to change which input. So what material we're applying to the object very quickly.